All right, we're on the draw with Rug Delver. And is this hand good? Yeah. I would say that this hand is at least acceptable. We've got three lands. We can get all of our colors. Interaction, cantrips. Seems all right. I don't know if we want to fetch shock for a steam fence, but given that they didn't do anything with this Arid Mesa, I think it's more likely they're playing a red-white, possibly Jeskai control deck, than, say, burn or aggro. So we're just going to fetch shock, steam vents, serum visions. Okay, let's see what we can get. Nice, nice. Ah, uh, I think I don't mind having both of these on top for now. We want Hooting Mandrills to be the top, top one. If Vapor Snag seems bad, we can Thought Scour it away. You can enjoy your turn, sir. Sulphur Falls was a control deck. Nice, nice. Okay. We, if we had a fetch land right now... We could get Hooting Mandrills into play off of Thought Scour and the Fetch. And I... Oh no, we would have had to Scour last turn. That's the, that's the thing. We can still get Hooting Mandrills in, but we have to tap out because we need to cast Thought Scour and the Mandrills. Not just one, which means we don't get to keep Denial up, which would have been sweet. Because then they can't remand Hoots, and we can counter their path. As is... We're just going to shock and pass the turn. Probably don't need to shock, but they look like a control deck, so I don't mind all that much. And being able to mana leak things is not a bad thing, especially if they try to slam a Geist or something. Regardlessly, we're going to be Thought Scouring. Yeah. Uh, let's use that. Who knows what we draw. I don't think it matters which land I have. Okay, Delver's good. Forest, play a Delver with the Breeding Pool. In control matchups, you generally want to tap out, like, never. Because if we tap out, they deal with our threats, they slam Nahiri. That's bad. We're also not going to bother countering this Lightning Bolt. Coding Mandrills is basically going to be our haymaker. You want to be able to counter, you want to try to develop a board like you don't really care, but you kind of want to go for it, so you basically put it on the back burner kind of thing. Try to develop a board while making sure you can interact with their stuff. They're basically doing the same thing we are. I don't think they have any awesome flash creatures, so. Thought Scour again. Another Mandrill, sweet. And a Traverse. Do we have that online? Because we can tutor up a Tarmogoyf. And people like to tutor Tarmogoyfs. Land, Sorcery, Instant Creature. We are alive. We also could get a land, which isn't bad. I think we're going to start off with three Apes. Leave the land. Only one sorcery, instant, 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 creature, yeah, I guess the mana leak. Did we already click mana leak? We did not. Nice. Let's see what you have, Jeskai player. And we're just going to pass the turn. Hold up mana leak, hold up denial. Glimmer of genius. That is unexpected. I don't think we bother interacting with it, although it's going to be really good for them. We really want to be able to counter their stuff. So unfortunately, they get their guess. I wonder if they make use of that energy. That's exciting. Some Jeskai energy control deck. Okay. So what are they up to? Oh, second denial. That is really good. That is so good. I like pathing on upkeep because I already had both of my blue sources untapped. 
so kudos to them. That's a good play. Actually, pathing on draw. Pathing on draw is slightly worse than pathing on upkeep because this traverse could have, or that denial that I drew, yeah, I moved it over really fast. Wow. I really like organization, apparently. That If that denial was the only counter in my hand, they basically let me keep my mandrills because of that misplay. And that feels kind of bad when you're sitting on the misplay side. So yeah, if you're gonna path on the other guy's turn, do it on the upkeep. Otherwise, your turn is best. Infect style. Or I guess, against infect style. I don't know if we want to use that traverse to get another land. But I kind of like keeping it as a third threat. Because we are going to run out of counterspells sooner or later. And they probably have some too. Okay, are they doing anything? They either accidentally skip. Nope, we're going straight to the end step. I do not want to fire off either of those burn spells. We draw. Do you have anything? Another path, maybe? Nope. Nice. Third blue source is great. Now I kind of want to use the traverse, but we're, we're ahead. We're going to attack first. And the onus is on them to catch up. Because they are behind. And will be dead in a number of turns. Ooh, that's exciting. Oh, man. Let's get an island. This is fantastic. Oh man, the leaky, that feels so good. So good. Oh, and that would flash back Glimmer of Genius. Oh, that would have been dope. In case you can't tell, I like magic. Okay, and staff. What do we have? Serum Visions. Fetching first, yep, good sequencing, good sequencing. Okay, Serum Visions is amazing late game, and sometimes I counter it, but in this case, they're just really likely to have answers lined up already, so let's not. I'm also really looking forward to trying to burn them out. I think we start casting some burn spells soon, given that we only have the one denial in hand. Loosing a tar fire isn't too bad, although I really don't like the idea of them countering it. Eh, we may as well use our mana efficiently. Tar fire your face. What you got? Is it something good? Is it nothing? It's a Gear Hulk. We can't counter that one. Cool boy. Flashback Path to Exile. Well, we're still going to counter that at least. Glimmer of Genius. Oh god, that one we're going to counter. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, Tar Fire Cancel. Gear Hulk Trigger Resolves. Now we do the thing. Okay. Oh, wow. Holy Tarmogoyf. Okay. Okay. They could have Supreme Verdict, so I don't want to jam Goyf and Vandrills, but man, do I want to play this Goyf. And I kind of want to tutor up a Snapcaster, too. Do I tutor up a Snapcaster? Still only have the one land. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get a Snapcaster. Snappy. Okay. Old Snap Bolt doesn't quite do it, but hopefully we'll get there. Playing around Supreme Verdict is kind of really important because it's super easy to die to Supreme Verdict. Just because you play out your hand, they cast Supreme Verdict. 
Well, them taking Snapcaster is kind of lame. I don't think I care to bolt their click. I do like bolting their face, though. They might have a counter. Yep, there's the negate. That's alright. It's not like we don't have plenty of negate targets. Happens. If they have a burn spell, yeah, they take snap. Good choice. I would probably do that, too. We swing with both. I don't think they bother to block Hooting Mandrills unless they have a burn spell in hand. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, we attack with both. They chump goif. Oh, no, they can chump goif with the click. And then... Mm, they chump with click. They block like this. Gear Hulk on Mandrills, click on goif. I was thinking chump goif with Gear Hulk for some reason. That would be an awful play. No one in their right mind would make that block. Okay. We can bolt click, swing with both. They know we have a Mandrills. They have one card in hand. Ah, oh, two lands. If we bolt click and swing with both. I think if anything we bolt click, swing with one. Because if they path Goy and I swung with Mandrills, we're just in an awful spot. Playing Mandrills might be bad here. Because they could have Verdict, but if they had Verdict, they definitely would have Verdict last turn. So they have to have Verdict in their deck and draw it. So I think this line is right. Swing with Goyf. Blocks. Yep. Okay, we're not going to play Mandrills. Do they have a burn spell of sorts? Here we go. Can they finish off Goyf? They can, and they gain life. Oh, cancel skip. Cancel skip. Wait, they didn't do it? Oh, they're waiting for end step. Damn. Damn. That's how it would have happened anyways. Nobody would oh, finish it off on post-combat. That would just be silly, because then I can play this Mandrills that they know about. Okay, they have one card. We are definitely thinning the deck at this point. Our life total does not matter. And more importantly, we're at 13. That's a lot of life, even against a burn deck. Ah, uh, second red source seems good. Let's get a stomping ground. They don't need to pay the shock. Our life total doesn't matter, but we're still not going to give away two points. Oh, they have a path. Oh, my God. Oh, man, and they drew that at the worst possible time, too. One turn sooner, and they would have pathed the goif. Ah, uh, we have three blue sources, two red. Do we want another red? I guess three of each. No, we don't. We don't need that much red. I don't even need that much red post board. Ah, uh, we're going to pretend we have a counterspell. Although, anyone in their right mind would play around it. We can also pretend we have a counterspell and the ability to play around Mana Leak, I think. Nah, we'll just pretend we have a counterspell. XL three cards. What do we not want? Delver, land, denial. Okay, your go, sir, your go. Okay, Vendillion click, upkeep path, nope. Dismember is really good if they have a colonnade. Swing, French with Gear Hulk, hurts a lot, Cryptic. I don't know if I like cryptic in there. I guess bounce draw? Yeah, it looks like bounce draw. That's fine though. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's it's not bad at all for them. They get to fog a turn, draw a card. It's actively good. I just don't know if it's gonna save them. Play this land now. And one. 
two. We still have 11 cards in here. Let's see what we want to get rid of. One land, at least one bolt. Not Goyf, because if we draw Traverse, we really want a two-drop Snapcaster. Uh, we want to pretend we have a counter. I don't know if we want counter and pretend we can play around League, but, I mean, we can. So we're going to get rid of one land, two Lightning Bolts, and Serum Visions. We can still Flashback Traverse, even though... We have better flashback targets. And go to end step. We're going to be cracking that fetch again. Okay. What do you have? Is it good? Bin deck. Steam events enters tapped. What do we have? Oh, yes. Yes. Draw one, scry two. Let's just stop to gas up. We don't really want either of these, although... Kind of want to leave bubble on top. Because we can scour it away. Swing. Even if they have something really good, I think we still have to attack. Because if we don't attack, we're losing. We don't have a huge window before they draw business. So we gotta close the game with Nahiri on the stack. We're definitely thought scouring. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, please. That just happened. Snapcaster Mage. Target denial. Somebody's getting blown out. If they path that mandrels, it's us. If they don't, it's probably them. Bolt Snapcaster, that's acceptable. Trigger doesn't stop just because Snappy's dead, though. Do they have a counter? Oh, they don't. Hell yes, they just bolted to survive. Another Serum Visions. Yes. Oh, 7-8 Tarmogoy. Goifing like a boss. I kind of want this denial, but I mean, I kind of also don't. I don't think I need to play that land. The reason I don't want denial is I only really need denial if they kill my guys. And if they kill my guys, denial is really bad. So it's kind of a lose less card, I guess. One card in hand, what is it? Oh, that was a great game, wow. Holy, okay. Jeskai runs colonnades. <clears throat> Excuse me. Reveler is good. We want the whole grind package. The grind package, the whole grind package, and nothing but the grind package. I'm sorry, Hooting Mandrills. Amazing card. Unfortunately, you cannot really run Hooting Mandrills, Bedlam Reveler, and Traverse. I don't even like four Traverse and four Mandrills. Throw two Revelers in. That is not a good graveyard to have. Okay, Pyroclasm's bad. I don't think you want Ancient Grudge. Revelry is good against Rest in Peace. Let's move these up. I hate that it puts Tarfire here. Why does it do this to me? Tarfire is... A bolt effect. And you're wasting space, sex mage. Bobble is good. Dismember works against colonnade, but we're looking to deal with colonnade anyways. So I don't think we want the redundancy. Minute 45, 65 cards. Okay. Thought scour, we almost certainly want. For traverse gets us reveler, finds huntmaster. Let's us hit land drops to cast them. Helps with moon. I don't believe in siding out Delvers at all. I, I don't. I can't think of any matchup in which I side out Delvers. We're gonna take out a couple of counter spells. Holding them up can be a little messy, although we generally want them early game and then not late game because we just wanna. We just wanna get to the late game where we can out grind. It's weird because Jeskai is a very grindy deck in and of itself, 
what I mean when we're constantly two for oneing, three for oneing their removal spells. It kind of works. Kind of works. Maybe one thought scour goes. I definitely don't want all the leaks. We're on the draw. I'm sure that matters. Oh, bolt effects. We don't want all of these. Tarfire can stay. Tarfire's good because. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> because Delirium and Tarmogoyf. We don't want the same thing to happen as last time. Let's cut a denial, I think. We'll go with that. Maybe change it up after. Do I want any of these back in? I don't think so. We're going to run it. Okay. What can we do? This is great. This hand is actively great. The mulliganing is also great, but I mean... I don't get too happy when people mulligan, because it's just kind of sad. It makes the game less of a game often. Now, which of these fixers do we want to lead on? It might be Traverse, because we already have a Traverse. Hmm, we go with Traverse. Later we can Visions. That seems okay. Let's get off one of these. Probably for a forest. Just let them know right away that Blood Moon is in town. And also fix our mana very nicely. Serum Visions. Maybe they only had the one land? Maybe? They could also be sequencing to make us think they had one land? Or maybe they don't know which land to play until they get the information off of Serum Visions. I also could be reading way too far into that. Um, If they drop a Geist, I'm going to be really sad. But other than that, I don't think there's a downside to casting Serum Visions. So I kind of just want to do it. Uh, we'll get a Steam Vents, because until we have, well, until we have Reveler, we don't need Double Red. Oh yes, please, Tarmogoyf. We don't need Double Red yet, but if we do draw Reveler, we really want to have Double Red, and I will be kicking myself if I didn't get Double Red, can no longer get Double Red, and have a Bedlam Reveler in hand. And secondly, if we don't draw Blood Moon, Breeding Pool won't turn into a red source. So in the scenario that we don't get red, don't have Blood Moon, and draw Bedlam Reveler, we're going to be very sad. Snapcaster Serum Visions. I think we just Tarfire the Snap. Just deal with it now. They're playing around Blood Moon quite nicely. I don't know if I want to jam Goyf. I guess I kind of do. I slam Tarmogoyf. It's a 5-6. Their only answer is Path. They can't hear it. Yeah, I guess slamming Goyf is right. Can't play lands on the draw step. Who knew? Apparently not me. Leave up Thought Scour, pretend we have a Denial. They also might just not have a White Source. Although I don't think you fetch a Mountain. Well, maybe you do. Click, sure. Um, You can take any of these. They'll probably take Snap, but Traverse is very good. And if they know anything about how... Rug Delver sideboards, or at least does when Dredge is not a big player and Graveyard Hate isn't running around like crazy, they probably know that Traverse is good. And that's why they did that. Nice, nice. Don't have Disrupting Shoal, so Thought Scouring. Well, no, Thought Scouring to find one wouldn't help anyways, because we don't have another 1 CMC blue card. Do we get an island? It's a good question. I think we just get an island. And yeah, we're going to Thought Scour. We should also be looking at our graveyard. 
just in case that's important. We can Snapcaster, Tarfire, or Snapbolt. I think I like snap bolting better if I go with that line, because it leaves the tribal in the yard. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. We play land. It's almost certainly this island. I'm not sure if there's a foil land. We play land. We can tutor up a Tarmogoyf. Cast Tarmogoyf. Have Mana Leaf. It's not excellent. It still sounds pretty good though. Do we have that option? Instant creature, tribal, sorcery, land. We do have that option. We're going to take it. Mm, yeah, I think we want Tarmogoyf for now. Cast Tarmogoyf. Go to end step. Nice, nice. I don't know how scared we are of Nahiri right now. Not too much. We have Mana Leak up. But if they do resolve Nahiri, we're probably in a bad spot. They can jump for one turn and then exile Goyf. Serum Visions is an amazing draw, as always. I think we're going to go straight to combat. Although technically, I guess we could draw a counter spell off of Serum Visions. Hmm. Well, looks like they have a Lightning Bolt. Or a Helix. Do I try to counter Helix if they have that? I don't know. Denial in the Yard? No. I can not leak Snap Leak. So let's just play the Serum Visions. Fetch. Probably a Planes. They've been playing around Blood Moon quite a bit, yeah. Nice, nice. There's the Helix. Gain some life. Kill the Goyf. They, can, they can't beat double Mana Leak. And then we're tapped out and Nahiri's gonna kick our ass. I think we just let that happen. Well. Could have used you a little while ago. Oh, we got punished, guys. We got punished. We drew the denial that we could have used. I am very sorry. I've disappointed you all. At least I'm assuming there are more than two people watching this. We're going to mana leak that. Okay. Well, we have card advantage. There's Nahiri. Hopefully they don't have a dispel or a stubborn denial or a spell pierce. Nice. Oh, it was a land. Good bluff. I'm not sure if they should have just kept that bluff going. Now here's the sand thing. Running Snapcaster Mage in your Bedlam Reveler deck just leads to so much disappointment. Oh, so many things we could flashback. We have Delirium, Sorcery Land, Instant, Tribal, Creature, Dope. We're going to get a Huntmaster. We basically have three two-for-one sitting in our hand right now. But if we cast Reveler, we lose the other two. So we have to basically sequence them. That's the game. The little puzzle that we get to play here. Figuring out how to sequence... I don't think there's a land that can interact with that. There's no, like, Dryad Arbor counterspell. That'd be kind of bullshit. Dryad Arbor as a counterspell? Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. He likes my list, guys. He likes my list. They can go. Our little puzzle is figuring out how to two-for-one them enough times that they can't come back from it. And if we start with Reveler, they basically... Kill Reveler, we run out of gas, and we lose. That's a bad thing. We don't want that to happen. So we start with Huntmaster. Now they two for one. Us? Oh my god, Tarmogoyf. Sweet. I am super happy to trade off this token for Snapcaster. They two for one are two for one. We two for one. They're two for one. It's fun magic. Ok, 
Okay, I don't know if he blocks. I don't really think it matters. We used a lot of time. Apparently talking while you play takes a lot longer than not talking while you play. We're going to play Tarmogoyf and hold up Snapcaster Shenanigans. Do we have Snapcaster Shenanigans? No, but we have Denial in hand, so it doesn't really matter. We basically want to play out our hand to grind them out enough and do enough damage that we can just say, well, Bedlam Reveler, you're dead. And it looks like we might not even get to the Bedlam Reveler point. Because if they don't deal with Tarmogoyf, Denial, Denial, Snap, Denial... Ho 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 ho! That's pretty fun. They will be in a really bad spot. There's also Denial, Denial, Snap, Bolt. Snapcaster, perhaps... Uh, we can't really favorably counter the Snapcaster, so... That can happen. Yep, Path. Good, we get to use some of our resources. Can we get Snap out of our hands? We can. Alright, we're just going to plain denial it. Now if they have another spell, we're going to go for Snap Denial, I think. Uh, in fact, let's just Snap Bolt. One, two... Yup. Select Lightning Bolt. Yup. Cast Lightning Bolt. Use the Stomping Ground, because we don't want to tap out of blue sources. And two turn clock. Do we even bother casting Blood Moon? I guess. One, let's pretend we have red spells. Go to end step. Can they deal with the shenanigans we're about to pull? And have them pull it? Doesn't look like it. Alright, is it GG's? It's, no, don't end. Must GG's back. Oh, they're already gone. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed that at least half as much as I did, because I clearly had a time, and hopefully we'll see you again.